welcome to another edition of NIW. Got the V-Man here, and today's topic is about, my God, it's Monday. I gotta go to work again. If you feel that way every Monday, you are living your life in a state of dread. You look forward to the weekend. You thank God it's hump day. Oh, and TGIF, thank God it's Friday. This is most of your life. What do you really want to do? What do you really want to have? Whatever that desire is, you can be or have or do it. But you won't do it being miserable all week long, living for the weekends, living for the end of the day so you can go home and watch TV. Take that vision and water it with affirmations, visualizations, and the intuitive thought of the action you need to take that comes up when, when it comes up. Take the action. What you do, what I've done, what most people do, is they get that intuitive thought for action and then they rationalize it away. All the reasons why they can't do it What's the point of even trying? I'm never going to get there. But you would not have that thought, that intuitive nudge to do something were you not capable of doing it. But you rationalize it away. That intuitive nudge is the God part of you, if you're like, your higher self. The part of you that knows what you can't figure out with your conscious mind. So whether it's a big dream of being a billionaire, a trillionaire, I know that sounds far-fetched, whatever it is, one of your first thoughts may be, I can't afford that or I don't have the money to do that. You don't have to worry about the money. You focus on the vision and the opportunities for the money will come. You just have to take action on those nudges from your intuition, from your higher self, and the money will come, but you have to have faith. Your degree of belief in yourself, faith in yourself, faith in your higher self, universal intelligence, God, whatever you choose to call it, doesn't matter what name you use. If you are a religious person, there are many, many different names for what they call God in the Bible. Many people have different conceptions, so it doesn't matter what you call it. You just have to believe that your conscious mind is not the leader of your life. There's something greater, something bigger, something that can see the big picture that you can't see. You can only see a short distance down the road. Were you able to see all the obstacles and difficulties in your way, you would never start out. And that's what your conscious mind does. The ego controls that, so it wants to keep you safe. So that's why it starts lining up all the reasons why you shouldn't even try. You might get hurt. You might fail. But the other part of you knows that you can do what you desire to do. The reason you are miserable is because you're not following your heart, your desires. Your heart is really the subconscious mind. That's one interpretation of it. Your mind, your conscious mind, the two plus two mind, is not the part of you that's going to get you to your destination, to your dream, to your ultimate goal, to your vision. You have to have a vision and a purpose. And you, as a man, you need to focus on that. That will keep you from getting distracted by women, by uh, addictions, gambling, drinking, smoking, whatever it may be. Keep your focus on your vision, no matter how far-fetched or how far out there it seems like it is. Don't judge by your senses, by what you hear, by what you see, by what you smell. These are liars to your true vision, to what you're really capable of. All right, I hope this has been of help to you. Leave a comment if you'd like me to speak on something. I'd love to help you out. And if you'd like to get my help personally, you can contact me at Mark's Inspirational Guidance 
at gmail.com. I have many more videos on YouTube. You can check that out at MIW, Mark's Inspirational Wisdom, and the link's in the bio. Have a great day.